Before any of you get your hopes up, this is not footage of Medieval 3. Instead, welcome to the first release version of Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD, a total conversion mod for Rome 2. Currently, this mod is just for custom battles only and lets you play as 14 different factions, each with unique units, models and textures. One disclaimer I should mention is that the music is not part of the mod, currently instead I've edited that in. So I thought I'd just run down some of the factions and show you some of their unique units and show you a battle or two as this mod is an extremely impressive piece of work at this early stage. Also, should you and a friend wish, you could both download this mod and play online together if you want a greater challenge on the battlefield and to really test out which armies you are best with. So first up I'll show you the Kingdom of France. France is a pretty well balanced nation, with strong troops in most categories. They have super heavy shock cavalry, most notably the French knights, who just look incredible. We also have French squires, Templar mounted sergeants, Hospitaller knights, Hospitaller mounted sergeants and Templar knights. These guys, as with all the units I'm going to be showing you, just look awesome basically. The helmets, the chainmail, patterns on the shield, all look fantastic and look very professionally done. There are a couple of bugs with some units like the skins popping on and off but it's pretty rare to see and I only ever saw it on two units in total. Some infantry for the French are Pavissiers, Chatelains, Men-at-Arms and Mercenary Heavy Infantry, which carry these awesome looking axes. There are more, but in the interest of time I'll just move on to another faction. Most of the European factions like England, Poland and France are pretty similar in the style of armies that they can field, with a few unique units to them, but I just had to show the Holy Roman Empire as their Teutonic Knights look incredible. Their charge just feels powerful and their Imperial Knight counterpart look amazing riding into battle also. Next I thought I'd show off the Highland Nobles for the Kingdom of Scotland. These lads carry two-handed swords and have some animations I don't think I've actually seen before where they just slice people down from the neck down. They do have some clunky animations too with the way they block with the sword, but overall it's still really impressive to see them in action and just the look of them charging towards you is enough to stir up a fire for independence and rebellion. Also probably my favourite looking unit of the whole lot are the Highland Archers. They just look so Scottish it's brilliant. Heading south into Latin territory is the Republic of Venice. The Venetians seem to be infantry focused for the most part, with the Venetian heavy infantry being the staple of the Venetian army. I'm not well versed in medieval weaponry, so feel free to educate me in the comments, but they carry long spear-like axes basically, and their stipendari infantry carry long maces, really making them stand out from other nations. The Venetians were my favourite to play in medieval too, and it's nice to see that they are being represented again with, uh, with such a high level of detail. Moving further on into Asia Minor we have the Empire of Nicaea which are a successor state of the Byzantine Empire. These guys have a really distinct look to them, almost a cross of mainland Europe and eastern cultures that combine the standard chainmail sets and shields with more eastern style helmets and weaponry. They make use of pike imagery in the form of Contaratoi, an amazing axe wielding Varangian guard who wear their shields on their backs. I'm not sure if this is to protect them from missiles from behind though, in a few tests I did it seems like it bounced off more than usual, but it was hard to tell if it actually works. Either way, it still looks cool. Lastly, I'll show you the Mongol Horde. The Mongols are probably the most impressive units to look at in the game. Their armour, weaponry and faces are totally unique and extremely impressive. The attention to detail in the armour is remarkable, even down to the different chainmail sets for the horses themselves. The light variations of troops have a more cloth style gear with those traditional furry hats. Again, I tried to look up the name of them, but furry hat was the best I could find. The Mongols themselves, while looking impressive, I feel are a bit underpowered at the moment. I've tried a few times to win battles as them with their numerous horse archers, but I just can't seem to do enough damage to the enemy. So yeah, that's it for the mod pretty much. There are some other factions I don't have time to show, but all in all things are looking very promising and I can't wait to see the addition of more factions and the introduction of some campaign. 
My only caveats that as a previewer I have to point out are that the unicards are really hard to distinguish between as some of them are just medieval 2 unicards that have been stretched. I'd love it if someone like Bull God or Normal made variations on the unicards. Also there are no abilities yet on most of the units in the game, which actually makes the longer battles of Rome 2 less satisfying to play. And lastly, the sounds of units still cry out their previous names, which is a shame. Hopefully they can meet that, but I'm not sure if it'll ever be achieved. Either way, it's a small price to pay to essentially have an updated medieval Total War game. Big thanks to the mod team for their hard work and for sending me this early. The mod team consists of their leader, who's also a unit designer, Warman222, LTD, Grudge NL, Brevime, Lord Giovanni, Rafkos, and Warmonger. I think they're actually looking for staff for it to, uh, to do with campaign modding, so if you have any experience in that, sign up over on twcenter.net. I'll put a link in the description to their uh, mod uh, subform so in case you want to do that. The mod will be available on Steam sometime this week, and when it is available, I'll provide the link. Because it is so big, however, the Steam link will just uh, point to the separate download, so it's probably best to go to twcenter.net and get it there. It's super easy to install, it's just one pack file you place in your Rome 2 data folder. Anyway, links will be in the description should you need them. Let me know what you guys think of this mod, I'm going to leave you now with some medieval nostalgia, and I'll see you in the next one.